sensitive presidential records remain committee confidential under federal law, just as they were during the nominations of Kagan or Gorsuch. But we have expanded access to these documents also. Instead of just providing access to committee members, we provided access to all 100 senators. Instead of just providing access to a very few committee aides, we provided access to all committee aides. And instead of just providing access to physical binders of paper, we provided 24-7 digital and searchable access. This is unprecedented access to committee confidential material. I'd also like to add that my staff set up workstations and have been available 24-7 to help senators who, who are not on committee access confidential materials, but not once but not one senator showed up. I guess senators complaining about lack of access to confidential documents weren't really interested in seeing them in the first place. But I want to emphasize more documents are widely available than in any prior Supreme Court nomination. And then to the issue about hiding com uh, committee confidential documents. Some colleagues, and you've heard it this morning, accused of hiding documents. They're suggesting that some of the committee confidential documents contain information that would be of great interest to the public. Well, just as I did last year during you Justice Gorsuch's confirmation, I put a process in place that would allow my colleagues to obtain the public release of confidential documents for use during the hearing. All I ask was my colleagues to identify the documents they intended to use, and I would work to get the Department of Justice and former President memory. Bush to agree to waive restrictions on the documents. Senator Feinstein uh, secured the public release of 19 documents last year under this process, and Senator Klobuchar secured the release of four documents this year. If my colleagues truly believe that other committee confidential documents should have been made public, they never told me about them and request the ones that they wanted. Instead of scaring the American people by suggesting that we're hiding some incriminating documents, they should have made a request that I work to get the committee confidential designation removed. This year, I received no such request except from Senator Klobuchar, which was honored and resulted in the disclosure of documents that she wanted to use during this hearing. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, you you stated what I did, and you stated it inaccurately. I think I have the right. I said I was paraphrasing it. Well, you it, can correct me any it, way it, you want. It was one heck of a paraphrase when you uh, give me the example. when you speak about doing the same thing as with Elena Kagan. When I was chairman when Elena Kagan was here. We had 99 percent of her records from the White House were made public 12 days, 12 days before the hearing. With, with uh, Judge Kavanaugh, we have 7% and only 4% are public. You can talk about the numbers of pages. The fact is 99% for Elena Kagan, 12 days before the hearing. Uh, it was all available. For Judge Kavanaugh, 7% and only 4% uh, made public. So, <clears throat> you know, if we're going to argue what was precedent, I would, I would point out that I've, I've been in the Senate for 19 Supreme Court nominations. What is being done here is unprecedented. And I keep coming back to the same question I asked. What are we trying to hide? Uh. What are we hiding? What's being hidden? Why not have it open like all others? The only other time we heard a president invoke executive privilege was President Reagan during the uh, Justice William Rehnquist hearing, and Republicans and Democrats together went to him and said, don't do that. And he said, okay, um, you're right. And he withdrew his request of executive privilege and released the documents. I, 
Mr. Chairman. You know, I, I, I'm just sorry to see the Senate Judiciary Committee descend this way. I felt privileged to serve here under both Republican and Democratic leadership for over 40 years. This is not the Senate Judiciary Committee I saw when I came to the U.S. Senate. Mr. Chairman.